Hi everyone, good morning from Singapore. Welcome back to our channel and this is the episode 2 of the Singapore series. We were all very excited for the cruise. The boarding time was 11 a.m. so we thought that we will leave early, visit the Merlion Park and then head to the cruise boarding point. We were looking for a taxi and the taxis here are very systematic and self-explanatory. On the top of the taxi there will be a light box. If the light is red then it is not available. If green it is available. We were now on the way to the Merlion Park and as you can see the development here is just amazing. will depart from Singapore and head to Port Klang which is in Malaysia and then back to Singapore. Now as we will be leaving the country there will be a proper exit process similar to the airports. While returning as well there will be immigration again because we are entering Singapore from another country. To enter into Singapore you will need to have a SG arrival card. On the government website you can quickly update your general and your trip information and on submission of this form a SG arrival card will be allocated to you. This is mandated for immigration clearance and you will be able to submit this request only 3 days prior to the departure date. When we entered Singapore from India the arrival card had the mode of transport as by air and when we will enter Singapore from Malaysia the mode of transport will be by sea. The documents to be shown in the cruise immigration are passport, visa, SG arrival card, flight tickets and your vaccination certificate as well. The rules are that you have to hand over your passport for the entire duration of the cruise stay and you will get the passport back on the last day while exiting the cruise. We had paid around 30,000 rupees for two nights stay in the interior staterooms and all the meals at selected restaurants. You will need to pay a lot more in the cruise as they charge extra for the smallest of the things. You will be given this card which will be used for everything to access your rooms and for all kinds of payment. At the end, the amount swiped by the card will need to be cleared just like a credit card. These are the rooms available in the cruise and they will all have different charges. Also any multi-pin or heavy electrical items like irons or hair straightener will be asked to be removed and will be returned only while exiting the cruise. These are the Wi-Fi prices and as soon as we entered they were providing Wi-Fi and alcohol combo offers. We were having a couple of drinks enjoying the live music and games and we had planned to watch the sunset from the deck.
Good morning from the Gentring Dream Cruise. It was day 2 here and I am planning to give you a flow by flow tour. We woke up early for the sunrise and were heading for breakfast. These blackjack machines are everywhere and luckily it's empty now otherwise there are a lot of angry people around here. with the flow by flow tour
brings us to the end of episode 2 and we will continue the cruise tour in the next episode. Please subscribe to our channel, like the video and hit that bell notification. The old one's gone under the knife And I can feel